It's his first Valentine's Day as a married man, but the Duke of Sussex is set to spend February 14th in the freezing Arctic Circle for a Royal Marines training session. Harry, 34, will spend the day meeting troops who are taking part in exercise clockwork in North Norway but is expected to be reunited with his pregnant wife, the Duchess of Sussex, in the evening. Exercise clockwork is the traditional name for the grueling annual winter training, based in one of the world's most demanding environments and focusing on survival in the extreme cold. Set 200 miles, 322 kilometers, inside the Arctic Circle, more than 16,000 Royal Marines and Royal Navy sailors and airmen have taken part in the exercise since 1969. Harry's visit marks the 50th anniversary of Commando Helicopter Force and Joint Helicopter Command deploying to Bardafoss in Norway. Military personnel are taught how to survive, operate and fight in the sub-zero conditions and gain experience of operating aircraft in severe cold weather and mountainous environments. The multinational exercise, hosted by the Norwegian Armed Forces, comprises environmental flying qualifications, cold weather survival, tent group commander and snow and ice driving courses. The Duke, in his role as Captain General Royal Marines, will fly to the air station in Bardafoss on February 14 to meet military personnel living and training across six months of the year on the base. Harry will also see field tents, snow vehicles and a Quincy shelter, a makeshift shelter built of snow in which the elite forces are able to camp. February will mark the Duke and Duchess's first Valentine's Day as a married couple, after they tied the knot at Windsor Castle on May 19 last year. Harry was appointed Captain General Royal Marines in December 2017, taking over the role from his grandfather the Duke of Edinburgh, who held the appointment for 64 years. He will visit the aviation hangar to see some of the specialist aircraft including Apache, Merlin and Wildcat helicopters and also join clockwork personnel as they celebrate the 50th anniversary. The Duke already has experience of colder climates, facing temperatures as low as 35C on charity expeditions. Harry took part in treks to the North Pole in 2011 and South Pole in 2013 with Walking with the Wounded, 